Hello everyone, Jeremy Davis here to talk to you about CDH1 research. First, I wanna share with you that we've made great strides in understanding gastric cancer and breast cancer risk in patients with CDH1. Our team has established itself as a leader in CDH1 research, and all because we have great patient volunteers who are willing to participate in clinical research. But success can have consequences. And I believe we're experiencing some of those consequences of having a successful CDH1 and gastric cancer research program. In my desire to provide clinical excellence in the setting of research, I've overextended myself and my team. Often we've worked to accommodate people's healthcare needs beyond the scope of CDH1. And while that gives us great pleasure, it also comes at a price. We have finite resources. Our team is only so big and, and I'm only one person. So I'm working to refocus our efforts and determine what our strategy is for moving forward. In doing this, however, it may look like we're pulling back. To some people, it may look like we're doing less, but actually what we'll be doing is maintaining our focus on CDH1 and our research mission. And that's been my purpose all along. Many of you know that I demand excellence of myself and for my patients. In order to meet those high standards, we need to establish some limits on what we do as part of our clinical research program. So we will take a temporary pause in enrollment as we make these adjustments. What will these adjustments look like? Well, we're going to ask you to do more telehealth visits. We'll also strongly encourage your primary care physicians at home to be more involved in your care. That may mean that we need to educate them more on surveillance and your needs after total gastrectomy. We may refer you to centers of excellence closer to your home for things like endoscopic surveillance or breast MRI. And as we learn more about post-gastrectomy bone health or gastric cancer surveillance, we may do less of these things here as they become part of your general medical care at home. Finally, one of our responsibilities is to spread the word so that other doctors and other members of your healthcare team can adopt some of our practices and take better care of people with CDH1 mutations. I want you to know that I remain committed to making a difference in the lives of people with CDH1 mutations and hereditary gastric cancer. Thank you.